so if like this if you hear the slur it's because i have them on hey guys it's sheets the eyes to zeli and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a peaceful positive perfect day if you're new to my channel i'm giselle i am 16 and i am a youtuber and if you guys want to learn more about that or follow my socials you guys could go to my YouTube channel and go and press the button like that to the bell and then this whole thing will pop up so that way you guys are interested or if you guys want to know more about me. In today's video, as you guys saw by the title, and I'm going to talk about San Julio's Day. If you guys didn't know, I am. So San Julio's Day is a big celebration that the Mexican community celebrates. And on San Judas Day, you're supposed to, it is celebrated on October 28th. And basically what you do is you're bringing matachines to him. And if you guys don't know what matachines are, it, I'll put like some pictures around here. But they're like people who do dances. Matachines are just people who dance and they wear green, red, and white. And they start dancing and doing all this stuff. And I will be putting clips that we took on San Judas Day because we celebrated it here at my home. We usually do celebrate San Judas Day but we don't go full out because we used to live in a duplex and also an apartment. This is like my first family home. So when we found out we were going to celebrate San Judas Day, my mom went all out. My mom, she decided to make a big altar and we'll be putting clips here. We took some pictures and videos of the altar because my mom made that all by herself. Of course, me and my dad helped, but it was my mom's idea and her idea came out like amazing. Like it was really beautiful. It was really big and it had like a lot, a lot. Every time you would walk into my house, for example, um, you would just see it right away. Like what does San Juda symbolize in the Mexican community? And in the Mexican community, San Judas basically symbolizes it is choosing faith when all things seem lost. And at the beginning of the year of 2021, me and my parents went through a horrible traumatic moment that happened to my sister. I'm not going to get into too much in detail it because it was very traumatic for me. When everything was lost, we like put our faith and trust in like God. The main reason we celebrated San Judas Day was because we needed to put faith in God in order to believe that she would be okay and when she came back from the hospital, all the tests that they took at the hospital came out all good. Like they, there was nothing wrong, it all came out 100 out of 100, 10 out of 10, like I don't know how to word it but nothing came out bad. So that was like the main reason we celebrated San Judas Day. When it got closer to the day, October 28th. My mom had this amazing idea to celebrate San Judas Day with my mom's side of the family and my dad's side of the family. It allowed some of my closest friends to come as well. At the beginning, we were very like confused. We never hosted like a big event in this house. We never like even had like a, a housewarming party at the beginning of this home. When we celebrated San Judas Day, we were very lost. We were very confused on how many guests would come we were very confused on what to make also because there was a lot of people who came but basically my mom invited her whole family like everybody that we hadn't seen in a long time they also came so my dad's side of the family they all live here where i live so of course they came they invited some of my closest friends which was you're gonna hear their names a lot and you're probably gonna see them in my vlogs and all that and like when i go to school or like during the weekends. My closest friends were Esteban, Diego, and Nicole. Nicole couldn't make it because she had reasons, but Diego and Esteban had read it. We were very confused on everything, but at the end, we got everything ready. We got all the chairs, tents, tarps, tables. Um, my mom had to order all that from a party planner. All the decorations and all that, my mom just did that. We put everything in the backyard and then she also booked the matachinas for October 28th. And if you guys are still questionable about my mom making an altar, so basically if you make an altar, it's the altar is for people to pray for the impossible. 
We needed some food us in the altars. That way it could be a way for us. Anyways, basically what you put on an altar of San Judas is, and my mom looked it up because we weren't very sure, like this is again our first time. So basically what you put on an altar is, San Judas enjoys shiny pennies, Florida water, and flowers. Another like part of having a San Judas altar is also to make, like give him thanks and also appreciate what he's given to you. That's another part. Of the reason we built the altar was to ask to put our faith to say thank you and appreciate everything that he's given us so like that's like the four main ideas of the san judas altar every celebration has main colors such as christmas for example green red white and valentine's day red pink and white so for a san judas day it is green gold and white so everything that we put like for example we put an altar in the front of the house for the matachinas to come pick them up and bless our home all those colors outside inside of our home and in the front so we use the front inside the house and the backyard if i pronounce a spanish word wrong or have the wrong pronunciation do not blame me I speak Spanish to my friends and I speak Spanish to my older family members but not on an everyday basis. So do not come at me for that. Nanda Apache's Matachinas were the ones who came to our house. If you guys don't know what Danza Apache is and the Matachinas are, so my mom and her sister Monica, they used to be in Danza Matachinas when they were little and it was called Danza de Colores they were in Danza de Colores so that's why my mom like knew the lady and the lady knew my mom because they used to be in the same group morning of San Judas Day, October 28th was my mom, her mom, my nana and my tia Espi they helped my mom and also um, their husbands came to help with Preparing for the tables, also cooking part, and also setting up the tarps outside in the front and in the back. That was like not difficult because we actually got it done really quickly, but the weather of the wind was like not cooperating in the morning. But in later on in the afternoon when everybody started coming, it was a good time because the, the weather had slowly like calmed down. So right when it got near the afternoon, that's when everybody like started coming in and we started sitting down in the front and then the front there was like a tarp for the matachina since it was really hot and also there were some tables on the side and there were some a lot more tables on this side in the front yard. There was tables also near a brick wall. Everybody was sitting down, me, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brothers were hanging out with the little kids but like us four, we were in the front. We also took a lot of videos. It was overall a good experience and it was very it was very heartwarming and also very cool because I've never ever experienced anything like this. In the Matachinas performance, they're supposed to be dancing for a while to the altar and some Huda's picture. Once they're done with that, we took a little break. During that break we fed the matachinas and we gave them water and everything. That's when we all went to the backyard. In the backyard, everybody was served food, which was, I'll put like a list somewhere around here, probably like right there. But that is what we ate. To drink, it was basically like Cokes and sodas and juice boxes and water. Everybody was mingling, talking about it. I introduced my friends to my parents. My friends went to go sit with one of my mom's cousins, but in my family we call everybody Tia. They went to go sit with my Tia Cindy. They started talking and then I was helping my mom serve food. My cousins came and then my cousins got to meet my friends. It was pretty good. Um, I helped my cousins prepare some food. They were helping out with my mom and so 
they were like slicing everything so I helped them slice the limones and then I gave like the people who were serving the food which was older relatives I gave them like the stuff they needed and then talked to my cousin for a little bit and decided to eat I ate menudo also ate something else I forgot what I ate it was like a long time ago it was like what it was like three months ago four months ago because we're in February 2022 and it was October 28 2021 when it came down to the second part of the Matachinas performing it was like somewhat late at night not really there was a part in the Matachinas dance that they grabbed San Julia's picture they went inside the home of our home and blessed our altar and got to see our altar they're basically blessing it and also putting they're basically blessing our home not just the altar but our home once they were like done in our house and um, they also brought my little sister in so that way they could do that to her and also my parents it was overall like a, a very interesting experience i can't stop saying it because it's so it's so interesting because I've never experienced anything like this of San Judas Day or Matachinas coming to my home and anything like that. It was like my first time for everything that I've been talking to you guys about. So once I just like stopped blessing our altar in our home and, our, and my sister, they went back outside and then they started performing for a little bit. Once they were done, they had completely left. And everybody went back inside our home, which was either inside the home or some people were already leaving, but not most everybody was leaving. And then people went into the backyard. If you guys see my house tour, you guys would know that I have a pool. So in the night, it like has lights, LED lights, and they're color changing. So obviously the little kids and me and my friends wanted to jump in the pool. So my friends had already asked my parents before the second part had already started. My friends got into the pool. My little cousins, my cousins um, that are my age, they left. My other cousins, my little baby ones, they stayed there. So most of us were in the pool. The older adults were just dancing, everybody was mingling. Um, my mom has lights in her backyard that do LED flashing. So everybody was dancing to the music my mom was putting out. And we like swam for a good two hours or an hour in that pool before they had to leave but like during the time while we were swimming i saw like the older adults like my grandpa uh, my grandma uh, my nana her husband teddy and all like the older adults dancing on the floor like near the pool everybody was dancing everybody was like interacting dancing with people like like everything <laughs> it was pretty funny because everybody eventually like got sprayed with water guns and all that a good hour or two three that's when like people started to leave it was like near 10:53. so my friends had to leave at 10:53. after they my friends had left completely me and my mom went back inside and most of my family members like my dad's side of the family was still there and then my mom's cousins were the ones who stayed more but everybody else on my mom's side had left so we were dancing, we were talking, everybody was joking around it made me laugh a lot, like a lot, lot later on in the night is when my parents, my dad's side of the family had left so we like said goodbye to them I don't want to say like at 12 or 1 but that's how long my, my cousin, my mom's cousin stayed so we were like chatting and talking and laughing a lot, a lot. Um, we were like kind of dancing, but kind of not. And then it was starting to get really cold and then we decided to go inside. My mom's cousins decided to clean up a little bit. And then once we had cleaned up a little bit, they had left. So we greeted them goodbye. That's like the whole San Judas Day experience. For me, it was like very life awareness, you know? I got to learn about more about my religion and also see Matachinas um, blessing our home. It was very interesting and it will be a forever memory in my head 
I will never forget about San Jose because it was really important to me. I hope you guys like this like insight in my life. I would say this video was like the most personal video I've ever ever, ever gonna put out on YouTube. I'm hoping you guys like it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on my post notifications because I am going to be posting every Wednesday at 8. Turn on that post notification bell and make sure you like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a peaceful, positive, perfect day. And thank you so much. Bye! Your child.